Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm Carlos Bricio and today we're going to be looking at the latest Sony Moves release, A Console. A Console is an American style console emulation released by Sony Moves and I've been part of the beta testing of this plugin. Uh, in this video I just wanted to show you a quick tip on how you can uh, take advantage of the sound of these uh, great sounding plugins in your existing sessions. So here I have a session that I mix is very simple, just drums, bass, guitars, and but I wanted it to get that feeling of passing it through a console, and I thought the A console was great because this is a kind of a rock track, and I wanted it to have a bit more punch, a bit more round, but also get that cohesion that console emulations like the A console, Britson or Satson provide to your mixes. So what I did is instead of uh, having to start the mix from scratch, I added the A console instance to each individual of my tracks uh, at the end of the chain. And now thanks to the new feature from A console that you can swap between the bus and the channel directly from the plugin, I just have to click here and change from channel or bus depending whether I was on a bus channel or uh, an audio channel or even in some of the effects, I'm just passing it through the channel version of the plugin just because I was applying um, the workflow of sending everything to a real console where I, ha where I will have the ch different channels, etc. and then just summing them uh, inside the analog desk. And then finally what I did is adding a bus uh, instant on the master channel but with the grouping engaged. I made sure that all the channels and all the buses were uh, grouped accordingly uh, throughout the session. And then now I have this uh, kind of side desk uh, on my session where I can tweak the mix, I can add saturation if I wanted, and I can control the full saturation of all the A console instances just from one place. So uh, just to show you how it can add to your session and how it sounds, I'm just going to be using the bypass button from this master instance and we're going to be listening to the track with and without the saturation uh, to see well, how, how the A console can shape and definitely give uh, the, the effect of passing it through an analog desk. Let's have a listen. As you can hear, it definitely adds more weight. It rounds out, it rounds uh, the low end, but also give more presence to the mix uh, and a bit more attitude, a bit more mid range, and it sounds more together. The whole mix sounds more together than without this plugin. So it is subtle. It's not something that it will change dramatically your mix, but adding up all those instances and having a full mix at the end, definitely uh, having this plugin at the end or at the beginning of the session, depending on your workflow, can benefit from all your mixes. Uh, I would use this scenario where I'm adding all the A console at the end uh, for this purpose, when I'm using a master instance just to finalize the mix uh, and having uh, you know, having shaped and compressed and everything, my mix uh, th using uh, using compressors and, and EQs before, and then sending that to the A console just as if it was an analog desk, and then tweaking the mix with my master insert. I hope this video was useful. 
Uh, I'll be sharing more tips on how to use the A console and different scenarios and how to approach different uh, workflows when, when using console emulation plugins. Thank you. See you next time.